it's party time, Mom. Welcome to another episode of the Not So Chad Prather Show. Uh, today, to my right here, we have Matt Locke from the Matt Locke Show. And sitting over there in the peanut gallery, <laughs> we have Mrs. Jade Prather and Who? some <laughs> gentleman <laughs> with her with a cowboy hat on. He and always a gets t-shirt. cocky after he gets paid. Yeah. Pumpkin. It's yeah? Mr. Jade Prather. Mr. He's Jade Prather. <laughs> Mr. Jade Prather. <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds becoming. I like Does that it? better. I, I like Mrs. Jade I don't Prather. Like, I don't like Mr. Uh, Jade Prather. Man, that shirt you're wearing today. Yeah. That thing is bright. It is a bright shirt, right? Is that so the one the kid made for uh, University of Tennessee? Yes. Yeah. I bet they made millions off that shirt. They did. How many did you buy? I bought one. God bless America. I only America. have one body, so. Capitalism. You didn't buy an extra one, size uh-uh. large? No, didn't <laughs> buy one for you. Just checking. Um, the... Yeah, I think they sold like 25,000 of these suckers. Maybe more at this point. I don't know. Wow. Gave the kid a scholarship if he stays straight. In, in academic academics. Yeah. St- yeah, makes good grades, that kind of straight. Oh, that that's, that's, that's yeah. the straight we're talking about. Not like the poker straight. It's a, it's a sweet looking shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It mm-hmm. brings out your eyes. Does it? Yeah. Uh. That does not bring out your eyes. Oh, D9. Did you get that on camera? With D9. The block. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, and over here at the control panel. Oh, yeah. Control panel driving the ship. Is that what he says? The mothership. Driving the, the mothership. Mm. We have Mr. Mark Tate. What's up, Steve? Oh, wait, no. It's something. What's it? He's Chad, got a nickname. He, Chad, he's a sprinter. Dang. He ain't, he ain't in it for the marathon. No, he's not. He, he was good out of the box, <laughs> yeah. but now it's just kind he's of falling winded. off. All right. Well, we do have Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, Mm-mm. sitting over there, too. It's not her name. Herbert the Deer is over there. Oh, Ken D.C. She likes Candace, though, right? Does she like Ken D.C.? Herbert the Deer. That's not his name, either. Well, you know her name no longer Herbert. holds the power that it did the first time I was on the show? They, at the front desk now, hey, I'm, I'm with Ken D.C. They're like, who? <laughs> who who's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to respond to that, Candace? It's Magic Mark, right? Is that his name over there? I don't know. Magic Mark. You really are <laughs> dumb. <laughs> hey, we're gonna so we're starting this new game. And what did you say, Candace, every time I engage in hate speech towards Steve? Yes, so it's gonna be a drinking game, and so you have to take a shot every time Steve is verbally abused. Verbally abused. <laughs> There's bleeps on the screen. Um, you know, the list goes on, but every time it's yelled stay horned. So you may die of alcohol poisoning, but you'll have fun while doing it. <laughs> yeah, see, we don't say stay horned a lot. That's not in every episode. Not every one of them. Is it? It's in a lot. Pretty much, yeah. You listen to all. Yeah, oh, Candace yeah. has to listen. See, if you think, okay, if you think these these podcasts are funny because you watch it once, you listen to it once, those of you out there watching and listening, Candace has to listen to it like four times to go through all the edits and, and everything and bleep out when Jade cusses. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, Candace, I'm working on it. It's okay. And, I believe in you, though. <laughs> and so, like, I'll listen to the podcast, watch the podcast back just to hear what I said wrong and uh, stuff I messed up. Y'all just need to make sure y'all blur out the other day when you were wearing shorts. And I don't know if the camera picked it up, but every time you crossed your legs or uncrossed your legs, I got an eye full. Did you? Yeah, so. Oh, we had a little, a little Sharon uh, Stone moment. So if you're uh, not um, watching this thing, you need to watch it. But just in case, you might see some. Hey, grown men family have Family tools. See? Family tools. Did tools. you see? Tools. Did you see? They've got a new product out. It's about to be released. The testicuzzi. <laughs> God. The testicuzzi. It's a jacuzzi for your testicles. A jacuzzi? Yeah. Like it, to keep them warm? It, it, it's, it's got two little ball cups. Right here. Yeah. And it runs it battery operated and it sprinkles water through it, recirculates the water. They got a gold plated one that's ten thousand dollars. I don't think that's real. Oh, it's it's well, I, you, I know you know. shared the I, mean, the I sent you the link. Oh yeah, and that really I mean, made my for day. the man that has everything. <laughs> gold plated. Yeah, that, I mean you can jacuzzi. get them for like in the bathtub. Forty bucks or whatever. You yeah. can go to testacuzzi.com. I wonder how well that product's been tested. <laughs> you know, you start. Well, putting... hopefully, the one that's coming to my house has never been tested. <laughs> 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 I 
you know, I don't know. You put some sensitive parts in places. I want to make sure the thing's going to work. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's hey, a, he ordered one already. It's a little nut cup. You better not have ordered one. Why not? Because hey, that's dumb. I need pampering. Oh, my. You pampers. <laughs> do, you, do, do you have a bidet in your house? A little, little sprinkle? I would have a bidet. A, a bidet? Jay won't let me have one. No. You can wipe your own butt. <laughs> But do I? I don't know. Do, does it really get there? Does it really get clean? I don't think you would use the bidet for what it's for. I don't know what you would use it for. Like a drinking fountain. <laughs> Party games. <laughs> Party games. I would. Tell, I love going to Europe just so I can use the bidet. Yes, I know. You tell me that every time we go. You're like, oh, I'll look, there's one, one here. House. Huh? I, I want a bidet. Who doesn't want to be fresh? <laughs> Exactly. Right. The thing about a bidet that's hard though is <laughs> is you got to squat over it. You don't sit on them, right? Right. You just got to squat over it. I so, don't want one I can actually sit on. Do, so you need a just, scope for you know the, the sighted in. You got to sight in the scope <laughs> so you know where the aim's at. <laughs> you know you're catching flack when you're over the target. Yeah. You just use your hand. You eliminate having to use paper. You can just use right. your hand. It's friendly. It's, it's environmentally friendly. We're solving exactly. issues of climate change. Oh, you still have to wipe because you'd be wet. Uh, but you, you, to, you just yeah. dab at that point. It's not wipey. It's more like pat. <laughs> <laughs> the drip dry, air I dry. Mean, ideally, ideally, you got to wipe, and then you use the bidet, okay? And always, always wipe front to back, okay? Yeah. You have to do at least one stroke back to front. Ew. And if you stand up to wipe, that's just weird. You stand up to wipe No, that? no. And, and, and front to back. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's guy knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Especially it's you also go, girl knowledge. Okay. Especially. Well, you, you go away from the boys, not to them. <laughs> yeah. We like to go away from our stuff, there too. You, there it is. <laughs> you don't want your <laughs> to get tainted. That's right. That's exactly right. That's the deal. And I, all I'm saying is, can't look at Candace. <laughs> We're not even uh, drinking yet. She get, nope. Oh, my gosh. The Puppet Master, Mark oh, Tate. Oh, that's it. Puppet Master. Driving the mothership that is Studio 22. I forgot to Candice say Studio the Queen. 22. Candice fired. the Queen of the Ethiopians. It's fired. Can we call him a, 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 a bad name now and start drinking? No, but the number of people <laughs> the number of people that get online and say how they could do this job, and they're liars. I didn't volunteer for it. That's there, for there's sure. People, there's people that, you know. Well, you know, Matt. Matt makes a living in this deal. He's done radio for years, and you know the Matt Locke show, of course, is daily. And you guys are doing the the beer for brunch on Friday, killing it on Friday. It. Yeah, sexy Jesus two, over here. Two o'clock, three o'clock in Hashtag the afternoon. Hashtag sexy three Jesus. Central, right? Three Central. Three Central comes out. It's a fun show. Fun, fun show. I, uh, I, I, we talked about this. Steve said y'all are going to talk about it on one of your deal, but that new twenty eight percent alcohol by volume. Yeah, he was filling me in from Samuel Adams. Yeah. How do you drink that at 28%? Utopia is, is what it's called. You might have to do it in like shots. Yeah, <laughs> little little I know. quantities. Because we, 28%. We, we, we it's talked illegal to, in yeah. 15 states. We talked about it on the show a couple of you days ago. That, you could do that game where you do one shot per minute. Have you ever done that? No. How, one, the the one power shot, tower. Or, yeah. One shot per minute. Even with regular beer, it'll wipe you up. Oh, you're hammered you up. Think. I don't do shots. Liar. He just drinks them straight. He I sips do. his shots. <laughs> yeah. And they're doubles. Yeah. Shh, don't give away all the secrets. I don't like, him. so like if, if I had a glass, like if I have a rocks glass or whatever, like I don't want, and I drink whiskey. I, I drink whiskey straight. I like to coat the ice. I put the ice in there, just coat the ice. All right. That's how I get hydrated because the ice will melt. Otherwise yeah. I ain't drinking no water. But like, if you give me a full glass or full cup of whiskey, something about that just makes me want to throw up. Yeah. So you you don't drink your whiskey neat. Sometimes, at all. sometimes, sometimes but, it but it's a much whiskey. smaller amount yeah. too. Yeah. Which you know, my go-to brand is is Jameson. Mm -hmm. I love Irish whiskey. Yep. Jameson is my deal. I love their cask mates. I don't mind putting some ice on that. Now you give me a Glenmorangie 18 year. We're not putting any ice yeah, don't, in that. Don't, don't hurt that thing. That that goes right straight in the glass and in your mouth. Right. Yeah. We're not, you know, and that's, then right that's, to your liver. That's yeah. well. <laughs> our livers work really well. We we've <laughs> noticed. I probably should get my liver checked. Did you yeah, enjoy some the, LFTs uh, would be good? Did you enjoy the Jameson while we were watching the football game? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm you did. That was my let, birthday. Let me let me that say he my, did. That was my birthday bottle that. Um, and Steve, sexy Jesus, and saving for us. I enjoyed sexy it. We drank Jesus. it, and you don't remember. I enjoyed it. Okay, thank you. It was you. really good. I, I enjoyed a lot of it. And, 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 <laughs> and I love how Steve brings it up like, 
Well, that was my birthday present. I was just sharing with you because I'm a generous soul. That's right. Like, I wish y'all could have any idea how much money I've spent on this dude between food and alcohol all over the nation. <laughs> hundred bucks an hour at every bar. <laughs> hundred bucks an hour. Thousands. <laughs> Listen to me, Ann Powell. I'm taking care of your boy. She knows. <laughs> she knows. My mom loved you. Yeah, we had fun with her. It was, we had fun with her. She had a great time. She couldn't hear half of it, but, you know. Who in this room... Good doesn't want to get laid <laughs> God. here exactly mighty heat in the buffalo silent herbert the deer, or herbert the silent deer everybody else wants to everybody and now i had a lady who sent me a message the other day she said i came to your show in victoria and all you talked about was sex and i was so disappointed and i said well that's not true <laughs> i talked about at least one other thing i don't know I've been to your shows. I've never thought that that was what you talked about the entire time. Yeah. That's a weird. It was a good show. You talked about a vasectomy. That's not sex. That's not sex. No. No, you it's not. say the word penis once. One time. Yeah. Entire show. Let's just call I it what it is. I do talk about the vagina hat rallies. Yeah. Okay. That's still not sex. No. no. Um, I've you started say, hey, talking about lady, when, the comedy's up here. Yeah. I don't uh, even do that really yeah. anymore. I talk about getting getting touched by a billionaire. Oh, maybe that. that so there's could, that. That could be. Yeah, yeah. There's that. Um, but there, it's brief. It's just one liner kind of yeah. stuff. You're yeah. not going in. You're not using vulgar language. But you're the not, thing that blows my mind is people that want to send you these long messages of how disappointed they were in something that you said. Which again, it's a it's a clean show. I mean, you want to compare what I do to to comedy that's out there and available. It's a clean show. Um. But if you don't like it, that's fine. Humor is subjective. You don't have to send me some long message about and it. And you don't have to go back. And it's a comedy right. show. It's a comedy show. Take the plug out of your butthole and relax. There wow. you go, being sexual again. Yeah, well, there, there you win okay. again. No, only that's if you sexual. Make it, only I mean, if you make the plug it, is... Only if you make well, it sexual. That lady that complained, if it wasn't for sex, she wouldn't be at your show. Yeah, your parents had sex. That's why you went to <laughs> his show. They well, were, I told her, they I said... They were doing sex. <laughs> Good God! <laughs> I mean, Sexy Jesus throwing them out. <laughs> People are idiots. Blo it just they're idiots. Well, I told her I said, well, it wasn't about sex, and I said, you have sex, you talk about sex. Sorry that we talked about sex in public, whatever. But you know me, I don't apologize for anything. So anyway, if you want to get laid, take somebody to a scary movie. Mm -hmm. They did a story. They did a uh, experts. I don't know what kind of experts say that horror film scenes uh, that you know the ones that. Really jump out at you, mm -hmm. make I, you horny. I, I hate those. I I've never. Does it make you horny? No, it scares Does me. Does anything make you horny? I mean, maybe, <laughs> but not being scared to death. <laughs> so this this Leah Holmgren is the person, Manhattan-based intimacy and relationship coach. How do you get that job, Matt Lock? Uh, years of study, maybe <laughs> hands-on for a while. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, there's all kinds of goofy titles. So that's the thing. It, they, she says, he says, she says, she says, uh, it's human instinct to want to be close to another person when you're scared. It's from prehistoric times when we needed to bond, especially in dangerous situations, increase the chances for survival. Wouldn't it be great if we could go back to those prehistoric times where you just hit somebody over the head with a club and drag them back to the cave and no, because it, it was, was always the woman getting hit. Yeah, prehistoric roofies suck. <laughs> <laughs> Not on your head. That's what it is. Come on, woman. You just get hit with a club. <laughs> it ain't rape if you yell surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Hate mail goes to steve at watchchad.com. I can take it. Yeah. Delete, 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 so, delete. So when we're watching horror movies, we have a state of fear and anxiety. It makes us have stronger feelings of sexual attraction towards other people. When you're frightened, there's an increase in the hormones, adrenaline, and cortisol, and the blood is pumped more forcefully to muscles and extremities, just like when you're feeling randy. When we're scared, our Who's blood randy? naturally is pulled to our extremities. So that's 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 that way we run faster. That's that's the what else do we do faster there. when we're scared? I know. I'm feeling randy just talking about it. Who's this randy guy? Yeah. <laughs> randy, aren't we feeling randy today? <laughs> elbows in, elbows in. <laughs> uh oh, okay. So anyway, so you don't like scary movies? No, I hate them. I can't wait to see the new uh, Doctor Sleep. 
books. by yourself. I will. I read the book. It was great. I don't like Stephen King as a human, but I do. I've read all of his books. <laughs> You're entertained. I'm entertained. By his art. Yeah. By his old art. I'm not even sure the guy writes his own stuff anymore. Probably not. I don't even know that he lives on the planet. But Dr. Sleep is, of course, the sequel to The Shining. Right. Little Danny's all grown up. Yep. The book was fantastic. They'll probably ruin it in the movie. I'm in. Because I, I, I can already see, just looking at the previews, how it's different. From well, Matt, if you go with him, remember what it can lead to. Randiness. Randy. Ra Randy will be sitting I'm next to us. I'm feeling Matlock Randy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before you know it, Chad will be on your lap. <sighs> it's all right. I, you know, I, the blood goes to the extremities, right, That's Matt? That's what I've heard. That's what happens. That's what happens. Oh, my God! They got the recliners in the AMC. It'll be all right. Yeah, and you we'll can even put out. the arm yeah. up. You can get real close. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in for that. Golly. You think Hillary Clinton's going to go in the race? Yes. Yeah. Talked about it today. Yeah. It's going to happen. Absolutely dude. 100% yes. Yeah. She just can't allow another woman to be president. It's going to be exciting, though. Can you? They're going to have to battle it out. No, everybody leaves when Hillary you comes think, in. Oh yeah, you think they're good? they all no, bow not out. without just trying to destroy each other? Nah, they no. bow out. It'll all She's be done. She's the queen. Biden's done. They all said she was most qualified candidate to ever run. How do you back that up? How do you, how do you draw back from that? And mm -hmm. also, not only that, she is not relevant unless Trump is president. That's right. She's completely irrelevant. So she had the only way she can stay relevant is to get in the race. And it's her turn. Yeah. It's, she, it's been stolen. First right. Barack and now Trump, it's now her turn. And and look, her her I said biological clock was ticking in my show the other day, but really her political clock is ticking. She's got one more chance. Yeah. This is it. Believe me, she's she's gonna run. She's gonna run. Yeah. You think she's got a colostomy bag? What's what? with all the moo moos? I, I don't know. That's a great I don't I don't want to know about her colostomy bag. <laughs> Maybe she's I mean, we all know she's full of it. Well, that's true. I'm just wondering where she's putting it. Because I don't know what's up with all the moo moos. Remember, I've always said we're on hashtag moo moo watch because as long as she's wearing a moo moo, she's not running. That's right. And the pantsuits come out. It's oh, game it's on. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> I, I, you, do, do, would you ever consider like moving to another country? No. No. Love America. Yeah. I mean, where else in America can you have the American dream? I was talking about AOC. Mm -hmm. AOC endorsed Bernie Sanders, she was a bartender. She's now a congresswoman. Mm -hmm. Where else in the world could you do that? Yeah. It, it, only in America. Period. I would never leave here. Even no. if it were, well, I hope it's never ran by socialists, but you never know. Socialism leads to some bad, bad things. And, th and that's a privilege. That's a privilege of being here. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes they feel like it should just automatically be that way. You shouldn't really have to work hard to get to where you're at. Right. And you didn't work hard to get to where you're at. No. They're bringing that out again. You know, Elizabeth Warren said that now all these billionaires, they need to be taxed and they used infrastructure and everything else and they didn't build it again. We got that whole deal coming back again, which yeah. is really weird. Yeah. Because I work pretty hard. I know you work hard. Yeah. Nobody's making our money. No, and that's the thing. I know that people look around and they're like, I mean, where else in the world and at what other time could you make a living doing what we do? Right. But but it is what we do is hard work. And, you know, it's there's a lot that goes into it. And I, my grandmother used to always say, because I've always made a living running my mouth in some form or fashion. Isn't it fantastic? It's great. Yes. And my grandmother, my late grandmother, she used to say, because if, if she saw me doing yard work or, you know, you know, doing some kind of manual labor or whatever, she said, yeah, now you see how the rest of the world works, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, well, if the guys out there digging ditches, if they, why aren't they making millions of dollars? Right. I mean, you don't equate there's a different type of work, you know, yeah. there's a lot that goes into it. So yeah, you do work hard to do what we do. Um, but where else are you going to do that? No, I mean, nowhere. You, you, where uh, else nowhere. are you going to do that? There is nowhere on this planet that you can come close to doing what we do here in America. Yeah. I mean, Steve can't even get the intro right. No. Steve has been doing this podcast for a year <laughs> with this crew and he don't even know their nicknames. Well, you no. didn't know the Puppet Master Nick. I know the Puppet Master nickname. <laughs> I forgot it. I mean, come on. Yeah, man. I'm I'm hurt over here, Steve. <laughs> Aren't you, Mark? I'm hurt. He looks And up. Mark doesn't ever get his feelings hurt. Aww. He hasn't. Sorry, Puppet Steve, Master. Go hug him. Get up and go, go do get it him a right hug. now. Oh, jeez. Well, go he was quick out of the gate. I'll, I'll give sexy Jesus. He was quick out of the gate. Listen. He petered out. There it is. Put him put it on him. There, there you go. Put it there on him. That's it cute. Is. 
That's cute. Look at Candace. Isn't Candace pretty today? Yes. She's pretty every she's day, but gorgeous. she's just she's just special. Steve, Steve. She said no. Don't don't hug the woman, okay, Steve? Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that wasn't part of the yeah, deal. That's not, Why do you always have to squeeze in a little bit more, Steve? I just, you know, trying to get all I can. Yeah, I can. we know. <clears throat> it wasn't about Candace at that point. You know, we talked about this kid that did the UT shirt and got picked on and bullied, and then the University of Tennessee came out with the shirt. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they... A lot of great stuff came out of that little story, but here's another one. There's a teenager who that only has one leg. She was she was uh, born without a leg. She had uh, amni amniotic band syndrome, yeah. so it became she had both legs, but then yeah, got entangled in the in strands the, from the amniotic, amniotic sac. sac. So anyway, they had to take it off. But anyway, she found a Barbie, Barbie Fashionista number one twenty one. Yep. You know what's significant about that, Barbie? Got a prosthetic leg. There's a prosthetic leg, Barbie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? They I mean, why not? why not? They have a pregnant Barbie. Right. They have a, you can just you can take the magnet. It's yeah. got the magnetic stomach, and you just pop it off, and the baby falls out. They have a divorce Aww. Barbie. Comes with everything Ken used to have. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to tell a dirty joke there for a minute. I know a few Barbie dirty jokes. Oh. I'll keep them clean here, though, today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Come on. We know all about Barbie and why she can't be pregnant because Ken comes in another. I think it's great. When when I work trauma at Harris. Because <laughs> Ken comes in another box. Yeah. He's, he, he's he a comes malficent. in a smaller he's, box. He's malfeasant. <laughs> He's an adulterer. I don't know. Are, are Ken and Barbie even married? I, I mean, do they so. have a formal arrangement, or are they just two dolls? Only if you got the wedding know. version. You just the get, wedding version of Ken and Barbie. No, there's no ring. No? No ring on that finger? No ring. And Ken's really gender neutral. Have you seen that? Yeah, he's he's yeah. he's yeah. amorphous. I don't know what the word is. Yeah, That's probably right. Probably. He's, he's a Jamie Lee he's Curtis. He's smooth down there. Just, just smooth. He's a Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> he manscaped. Yeah. Down there. <laughs> Barbie with a prosthetic leg. That's kind of cool, though, in this story. I mean, I I'm, yeah, missing, so, a, so I'm missing a finger. Cool. You know? she, she donated 400 of the Barbies to a hospital. And, uh, yeah. So she donated them. She got them at the local Walmart. Only had four of the dolls, so her mom put in a call for donations on social media, and that's what happened. They collected uh, more than 430 prosthetic-legged Barbies, donated them all to Shriners. Now, here's the question. I like kids like that. Did a podcast with you, Chad, a month or two ago about the woke society. Yeah. I'm actually amazed the woke society hasn't gotten to Barbie yet because we're not supposed to. They have. You know, her gender. We're not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, they be, have a gender neutral Barbie. They have a gender neutral oh, Barbie. Yeah. Because yeah, like you can replace the hair and move things around. No kidding. Absolutely, they do. Well, then, <laughs> I'm, I'm they, they, so they woke her, but yet they've left her as a female. Two. I don't know. I mean, I haven't bought one to see what it looks like uh, without well, clothes on. We need to get one, Candace. Learn something new every day. See, see, I blame, I blame, what you got? We gonna get one? That's on the shopping list, the Sam Adams 28 Proof, and then the gender neutral Barbie. I'm going to the store today. Good. We'll get it. Love you. The, um, see, I blame, I blame Mattel for a lot of our world's problems. I blame Barbie. <laughs> I really do. Because, because let me tell you what happened back in the 1940s, early 50s. The baby boom happened, right? And so there was a there was a thing where Mr. Mr. Dollmaker and Mr. Advertiser got together and said, "Let's let's come up with a doll that has everything." And then just like your iPhone and we were talking about that before, everything that has to have an accessory. So once you get the the one the doll, now the doll has to have the clothes and the doll has to have the car, then and the has house. to have the house, has to have the kid, has to have the boyfriend, has to have all of this stuff. And so what happened is we had this whole generation of people who grew up playing with a doll that had everything. Got to have the phone, got to have the doll, got to have the, and so they grew up with this mindset of we got to have everything. We got to have everything. We've got to accessorize our life. And that's what's wrong. You, 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 because, you know, life imitates art or it imitates play. Mm -hmm. It imitates practice. And so when you grew up with that, and people think I'm crazy for thinking this, but I really do think this. Like we, we grew up playing with toys that had to be accessorized. And so what we do, we accessorize our life. And we feel like victims if we don't have all the accessories. Yep, that's true.
That's Victimhood deep. is not a virtue, people. That's but deep. I still need that the new Garmin watch. I know you do. <laughs> That's deep. It, but it's true. I mean, I, I truly believe it. So, so like, there was a professor at the University of Georgia where I went to school uh, last year who, you know, he said, if you don't like your grade, send me an email and I'll change it. I saw that. And I'm like, that that doesn't make sense. But that's the culture we live in. Because, again, we feel like I need to accessorize. I should be able to pick and choose the results of my life and everything that I get. And that's why we have, you know, kids today who are that's, – that's why the next generation is always problematic. Young people will always be problematic because they don't have what their parents have. Now, it took your parents 30 years to build it. Yep. Right? You think you're supposed to graduate from college in Eliz- with a degree in Elizabethan poetry, and you're going to come out and, and make $50,000 a year, $60,000 a year, like your parents were making. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen like that. You just so, you know, and then, and then when it doesn't happen, you feel like a victim. Speaking of victims, they opened up a um, Chick-fil-A, the Lord's Nuggies. In, in the Britain. UK, yeah. These British people do some funny things, man. So they're going to close it down. And I feel sad for you Britishers. I know. I mean, did they all, they need to make sure everybody has tasted it first. You have not had the Lord's chicken. It'll make you gay. It will it, not straighten your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it will not improve your skin either. <clears throat> Unless you put the oil on your skin from it. Yeah. But don't don't they, they know how good the Lord's chicken I is? It's they so haven't good. tasted it, I'm uh, sure. I know. It's so good. It's so good. LGBTQ. RS. So lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer. That what that stands for? Yes. But it's oh, new. There's new. Have you heard the newest? Which is which? quilt bag. What? Quilt bag. Look it up. Really? Yes. Bag? Queer, Quilt? unisex, introsex, lesbian, transsexual, bi, asexual, gay. Okay. Got it? Hey, man. That's easier to say. Quilt bag. Quilt bag. Quilt bag. Quilt bag. You, you got you to get woke. You gotta your, get, I'm not woke enough. No, you're not. But Quilt when bags. I wake up, I want all my options open sexually because I might see a horror movie today. And I want to be able to sleep with all of them. Oh, my. <laughs> the blood <laughs> rushes to the extremities. <sighs> but anyway, the LGBTQ, I mean, gay people are not happy no. by and large. I mean, it's just the, and I, and I look, I, I don't care who you sleep. I don't care if you're gay. My thing is, and I got tons of gay friends. I work with gay people. Mark <laughs> is a, is <laughs> he's not a quilt bag. Now stop it. You're not a quilt bag. Straight as an arrow. Quilt bag sounds with, like with extremities. Bag. Thank you for the clarification there. <laughs> it's true. It's the it's the new term. I wouldn't lead you astray. No, I like that. Quilt bag. Um, you're always full of the latest information, Matlock. I have it all. That's why people need to listen to the Matlock show. That's right. Listen, um, I got, I mean, my agent is gay. I we I, it, I love He's great. Him. He's family, right? Do you watch great. scary movies with him? I would. Okay. Well, he will now. Well, yeah. I would. You know, I go out to Hollywood. I stay in West Hollywood. They call it Boys Town. Is his name Randy? <laughs> no. It's Willie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I named my dog after him. The um, so I, I'm you know, it, it, like be be okay with your sexuality and be okay that people don't care about your sexuality. Like you don't have to you you know. So they, anyway, they're boycotting and putting all this pressure on you know chick-fil-a and stuff and look man it, which would make sense if they were refusing to serve the right. quilt bag group <laughs> i almost said quilt well, bags but it that sounds doesn't better sound coming right. out of your mouth quilt no, bag. I, it doesn't no, sound quilt, good at all the quilt bag community i guess was oppressed for so long so now they just really go over the top with everything yeah or D- did they never, not get good chicken oppressed. were they oppressed from good chicken oh. chicken never hurt anybody no but I know everybody's like, well, Dan, you know, Dan Kathy and blah, blah, blah. Well, it, they just, he doesn't believe in gay marriage. There's a lot of people out there that don't believe in gay marriage. By the way, Ellen DeGeneres, George W. Bush wanted to pass an amendment that forbid gay marriage. 
Donald Trump has done more for the LGBTQ community than any president has before. So suck it. That's almost impossible in her case. Yeah. Yeah. But it's true. I mean, you know, she's going to, I'm friends with George W. Bush and blah, blah, blah. I've got for lots of friends that I don't agree with and blah, 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 blah. And everybody's like, oh, applause, applause, applause. Ellen is so, oh, she's so great. Except for the gay community that just tore her a new one. So, you know, they eat their own. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, Stop funny. it. <sighs> yeah, no truer words have ever been spoken. Uh, look at that shirt Jade's wearing. What's it you, say? You can get that thing. Oh, yeah, God the, the Pope, Pope shirt. Yeah, you the can Pope get that shirt. at watchchad.com. There we go. I'm trying to get out of the thing. It's okay. They see you, baby. Yeah. So anyway, no Chick-fil-A for you, British. Britain. No soup. Was that the only? That was like the first, first Chick-fil-A, right? So they've already ran it out of town. Crazy. Crazy Brits. Yeah. Do you ever think of, you know, whenever I think of the Brits... I, I, I think of uh, Mike Myers when he when he does the uh, Austin Powers. Yeah, uh-huh. Austin Powers. It's yeah, always baby. yeah, baby. He's got the big ugly teeth. That's what yeah, I was thinking. Baby. Brits. That's... Moly, 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 yeah. moly. <laughs> Maybe um, they should have done fish and chips at Chick Fil A. They might have. They might have survived. Maybe. Then it would be called fish fillet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how that works. Yeah. Yeah. So this chick, Monica Axumet, she broke. She's 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 an Olympic. She's she she's made the Olympics, but she's got she doesn't have any money. You gotta have she's gotta have twenty. She started to GoFundMe, which by the way, for those of you, and this makes people mad. I have never and refuse, and I pray to God I never will or ever have to. I've never shared a GoFundMe page on my on my social media. So stop sending me links. Stop sending. I will not share them. I can't. Because I promise you, if I had, if I do one, I have to do them all. And if I, and I, if I share it, I can't, I can't verify who's got a legitimate need and who's just getting money, right? So I get them every day, all day. I mean, if, if I posted all the GoFundMe's that I get sent, that's all that would be on yep. my social media pages. They send them to me and ask me to tell you. Yeah, <laughs> and and and, and, and I appreciate your dilemma. Yeah, and your need to, but I just, I don't do it. So. And I pray to God that I, I never need to do that myself or, or anything like that. But, you know, God bless you. But I can't do it. Um, like, so she won bronze in fencing 2016 games in Rio. She got to raise 21000 to get to the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Like, I don't understand what do you need beyond just a, a plane pawn, ticket. Pawn that bronze medal to go after a goal. <laughs> On that bronze. I like you. Just melt it down. Melt it down a little yeah, bit. It's, it's, it's bronze. If you had won gold, you wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> Slacker. She receives $300 every month. It's a stipend from the U.S. Olympic Committee, and, and she makes money refereeing tournaments. Um, yeah, but I, yeah, I, I'm like, what do, you, what do you need? How about get a job? <laughs> I mean, do you, you know, you're only doing the Olympics every four years. You can't train and do a job. Yeah, I mean, I she's, I she she only won bronze don't. anyway. So yeah, really, she do, can't we need you? do we need you there? Sexy Jesus, she need a gold. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, what you say, Jade? I, I think most Olympics they they don't they don't work. I'm gonna look up their what's her name again. Yeah. It says the Jersey mm. girl who is single traded her dream of working in the medical field for Olympic glory. But you know, if she worked in the medical field, she'd have that money. Well, she'd have a job. Yeah. Which every other American has to pay their bills. Hmm. Yeah, she. When, when did we become a society where we have to worry about everybody else's bills? Well, that's right, you, Matt. You know what I mean? I mean, we watch, and I'm with you. I see all these GoFundMe's, and I feel bad for people who have fallen into to bad health. Yeah. Or car accident, or their husband died. You know what? I have life insurance. If I die, my wife's rich. Come on. You know, because I spent the money, and I care about my family to do it. But everybody always, we always have to feel bad about the people that don't take care of themselves. Why? It says a socialist mindset. It's, it, and that's, that's, and look, I'm all for generosity. Yeah, me too. I'm all for <clears throat> charitable giving. Yes. That's great. Charitable giving is great. Everybody should be involved with that. Everybody should do that. But again, me having to take care of your, in most cases, irresponsibility, I don't feel guilty for not. No. Doing that. Oh. Um, helping your fellow man, great. 
But no, it, it, go back to the Barbie example. Go back to the Barbie. Because people, I, I mean, if you look at what people are, I mean, okay, look, you, you got the sword. I'm assuming you got the costume and the mask. Um, Get on a plane and go. Or go get a sponsor. Or go out and beat I don't the know pavement. If you can do that say, you know what? I'm an know. Olympic. Yeah, I don't know about. I don't know about. Yeah, because athlete. The swimmer. I don't know. Fen- can you call fencing athletic? I guess can, it is. Can, it's more so than I don't know. But like, she what? won. But she won bronze, not gold. Well, that's what we've heard. <laughs> it keeps getting floated around. Yeah. That, what do you What do you got against bronze? Nothing, but it's huh? not well, gold. It's oh. third place. So, right. Stay home. Why are they going to let send somebody better? How about some of our other Olympians say, "Hey, chip in and help her go." Well, isn't that the way that works? Like, uh, well, she got eleven thousand. Michael Phelps, the swimmer. Yeah, he had all kinds yeah. of endorsements yeah. and speedo and goggles Selling and weed. yeah, exactly. She doesn't have any. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you got American Hat happy. Company there on your head. Yeah, you know, doesn't she right. have the right Boom. pick or costume or face mask or she glove strip or like most educators do? Yeah, she could be an exotic dancer. I love it. Most most educators that are in getting their master's degree, that's why they're doing it. <laughs> I don't think most of them. Well, Just the ones I've ever met. Yeah. Class, to socialism all the ones class. I've ever met, they're trying to get through college, you know? Right. I mean, 37 they, years old. But <laughs> looking at what they get. 37 year old strippers. five, six grand a <laughs> night. <laughs> right. right. It I go to all the wrong places. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to complete your degree once you find out what you can make dancing. That's, that's come well, on. But that's, you can only do it's it for so long. long. That's I mean, it's kind of yeah. like the NFL. You got, you not got East Texas. East, East Texas? Texas, you could do it up, up right on up to your. It's yeah. like golf. You can just play until you just you're keep dead. Keep playing. They got yeah. seniors. <laughs> you, seniors <laughs> league. Yeah, senior senior league on Thursday nights. You've got to invest. Invest okay. young. Yeah. Make yeah. some smart choices. Gotcha. Yeah. As long as you can live with yourself. I've got right, to adjust right, myself. I'm all over the place here. <laughs> talking about stupid kids. Were we talking about stupid kids? No. This 14 year old. We were talking about kid? educators. <laughs> what is wrong with you people in these? Australia kid, West Australia, place where nobody goes. 14-year-old, he stole a car, a Subaru Forester. That makes sense, yes. <laughs> and uh, he hit, he crashed into a Lamborghini SUV. T-boned a Lamborghini Urus. While fleeing the police. That's a quarter million dollar automobile. Now, wait a minute. Lamborghini should not have an SUV. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to have to look up what that looks like. In- you remember like all, Porsche. all those cars in Australia, especially in Western Australia, have rhubarb on the front, which is a big bumper. You know, <laughs> like like rhubarb like 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 like, pie? No, a roo. <laughs> kangaroo. A roo. <laughs> not rhubarb. Not rhubarb. So, a koala bar. Yeah, <laughs> like a ranch hand bumper or something. Yeah. So all of them have it. Well, but we don't know that this Subaru Forester had that. We don't oh, know okay. that. But either way, uh, he. Tried to flee the scene, but it, obviously the police got him pretty quick. Charged him with four counts of stealing and two counts of aggravated burglary. No injuries reported in the incident, so hey, maybe that Lamborghini Urus is, is worth the $250,000. Urus. It's pretty. Urus. Is it? Is it, yeah. it pretty? Did you, you look it? it up? Yeah. Is it like a, a true SUV? No, it looks like a crossover. Okay. Okay. That well, would make more sense. You're not going to show me. I'm sorry. Here. Just, just hold it up. Because Porsche did that. Porsche tried to make a four-door, which is ridiculous, and then mm. they made a crossover oh. SUV, which is ridiculous. Mm. It's a sports car, kids. 14 years old. That's crazy. How, how old <laughs> do they have to be to drive over there? <laughs> how old were you Stop when you it. stole your first car, sexy Jesus? 17. Yeah, 14, 17. <laughs> but you, you almost went to jail for stealing a tractor, right? Yeah. A tra- wrecked the tractor, right? car is a different thing. What, yeah. What tractor did you try to steal? It doesn't Red or green? It doesn't matter. Acer. A big a green John one. John Deere. Big green one. He yeah. stole it, and then it was prisoner well, of the Marines. Where'd you go? Go bale some hay with it? Yep. Plow the field? Yeah. Pulled out the yeah. cultivator? He alcohol was running from the police. In a tractor? Yep. It's alcohol. I got it. Yeah, next you time we hear, drink. You ever heard of cataglyphus bombacina? It sounds an like ant. a venereal disease. Oh. No, I know. It's a so Saharan we, silver ant. It runs, it moves, can reach speeds of almost three feet per second, which means the equivalent of a cat running 120 miles an hour. So that's fast. Fastest land animal. Fast. I guess it's an insect. Pretty quick. Yeah. So that's all you need to know about that. So somebody spent money on that. (laughs) 
It's on the it's on the Sahara it's like sand. Hot. It's hot. It's yeah, hot. I'd run mm-hmm. fast too. Uh, I remember back when I used to run. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We need a quick complaint in here in Texas then. Exactly. We only get to like 130. Yeah, <laughs> child's play. So it moves 33.6 inches per second and 47 strides. That's more than 10 times faster than Usain Bolt. Do we know how big the bug is? Do we, do we have a, a, a guesstimate of size? Well, you're going to have to look up a Cataglyphus bombacina. Cataglyphus. Saharan silver ant. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. You can, uh, this is for Steve. God, God's uh-huh. getting into wearable tech. Um, there's, the Catholics are trying to, you want to piss off some more Catholics today, Steve? Well, no. I'm not personally pissing them off but if they get pissed off they they have a choice to be pissed or not so you have a choice it's like being offended they got a they got a rosary now it's a high-tech rosary they're trying to get godless teens back into the church it's a click to pray e-rosary yeah 109 dollars oh hey, whatever it takes to get people total. to jesus I'm got good 10 consecutive it. rosary beads that wrap around your wrist like a traditional rosary however e-rosary link links to a prayer app of the pope's worldwide prayer network the device activated by making the sign of the cross they understand they can watch a ter- church service online right <laughs> i mean you don't need an e-rosary yeah next thing you know that you're gonna have you're gonna be doing e shots yeah. of wine that sucks <laughs> yeah but that suck who would, who would want to do e shots I don't know. Everything's in it. everything's in you know. Need you can buy the robot mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. doll. Yeah. You can buy that robot sex doll, which they screwed up because now you got to ask it for consent. Yeah, I was gonna say now it won't have sex with you. <sighs> yeah, just like real women. I told you we got to go back to prehistoric. I hear you. You just hit him over the head. On the head. Babe, I feel like that woman might have been right about your show. Whatever, cave <laughs> roofie. Go back to the days of cave roofie. Anyway, whatever. All right. They want to pay in LA. They're ordering. They want to stu- do a study of paying Uber and Lyft drivers thirty dollars an hour minimum wage. That's I don't. I, I'm I'm done with the, um, the humanity right now. <laughs> I just done. Well, the crazy thing about Uber is they're losing money hand over fist, which is really weird. And yeah. it's a cool deal because you know you travel like me. Anywhere I travel, you Uber. Yeah. It's easy. You got the app. They come pick you up. They always told us, right? Never get on the internet. Never jump in a car with a stranger. And we do them both. We do it right? all the time. All and the they time. give you candy. Right. <laughs> like, I here's had, a peppermint. I had a guy in Miami pick me up a couple weeks ago. Didn't speak a lick of English. Yeah. And I looked at him and said, no, Espanol. We're screwed. Just take me where the app says. Kind of stuff. But 30 bucks an hour? Yeah, it's nice. Plus you don't tips. have to drive Uber. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You're self-employed. You get to choose when you work. You get to yeah. You work whenever you want. You're, yeah. It's, and I tip pretty good. Me too. I'm a big tipper. <laughs> me too. You just like to get the five stars back on you. I do. I, I, I like me I, too. I, I got a four point nine something. Four point nine four. <laughs> Who'd you mess up with? That's some douche in Dubuque. See, I, I'm a five star. Are you? Oh yeah. I tip. I tip well to the I Ubers. Have, I, got one, I don't Uber as much as you, though. Yeah, I, might Uber I had one douchebag in five Dubuque, times a year, and I liked the guy when we were riding it. But I it, apparently the tip didn't go through, so he looked me up online oh. and sent me a message. I'm a four point nine. He gave you the vendetta, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He, he sent he me a message about, ass. "Oh, you're, you thought you were a good tipper." Well, well, I thought you were a good person, and then I went ahead and tipped him after the fact. So. Yeah. But he can't take it back. I don't. I don't tip someone until I open the app back up and realize I didn't tip. Look at you, a five point oh. Five right in the middle, baby. That gum, son. They like me. I had a dude. I've What's been. In, I've been with a couple of Uber drivers that I thought I was going to die with. Oh yes. I mean, like, where were we? Golly, it was L.A. Steve, were you with me in L.A. and I had the little Chinese guy? Yes. And I, I was like. This dude right here. We were hanging on for dear life. This dude right here is going to kill somebody. Like driving in Italy. No, I love it because he gets all freaky. I said, see, I could drive like this. Well, yeah, because you drive most of the time, right? You're you're, you're pretty much the driver. Not most of the time. All of the time? All. Chad doesn't even drive. Do you remember how to drive? I don't. I like to drive. I don't like when other people drive me around. Steve's a bad driver. Yeah. But (laughs) I'm not going to drive. I hate to drive. But he is going to complain about the driving. Well, yes. Because I'm the one that drives when Steve doesn't She's drive. She's not a good driver. I am a good driver. See, I always drive. My, I, I, my wife hardly ever drives unless I'm drinking, like last night. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then my, my wife drives home. Again, there's a reason I drive. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Got it. See? And it works right here. But no, I, it, that's the one thing I don't do. If I'm in, you know, sipping the sauce, mama drives home because she's not a big drinker. No. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, she brought that. But she left her white claw over. in the fridge. That's all right. We'll be back at some point. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it won't. I see. Did, did she tell me she try was getting... it? Yeah, it's the berry pack. I tried it. It tastes like snot. I mean, you ever lick stamps? You know, everybody loves that. I don't know even what the brand is. Everybody's mm. like that seltzer water. It's got you know no calories and alcohol. I would rather lick stamps than drink it. <laughs> Just I've saying. licked acid. Little pieces well, of paper. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of like, no? Like litmus paper? Okay. A little litmus. It's gross. Anybody else done acid in here? Just me? Okay. Yep. You're the only one. All right. Once college. Did you I never did it again. I had a bad Freaky. trip. Me too. I, I haven't done it since since college. I did a lot of recreational drugs in college. Don't yeah. listen, Mom. Don't listen. I was, a, I was an angel. I got handcuffed. They didn't arrest me, but <laughs> I got handcuffed on... October 31st, 1991, by campus police. Because my buddy, who I won't name, he came up. He was playing ball at another college, and he came up for a weekend. And we hung out, and we both had an off weekend. And he brought a joint. We smoked it in there in the dorm room. And, of course, had the fan. Where we, I lived on the 10th floor of my dorm. And oh, I had the window yeah, up. And it was blowing out. Yeah. And so the fire alarm, as soon as we finished it, and that's all we had, as soon as we finished it, the fire alarm goes off, right? And somebody down on the sixth floor had shot a bottle rocket down the hall, and it went off, and that's what set off the fire alarm. Uh, and so when they came out, the graduate resident that lived down, because they were on, everyone had an RA on their hall, right. but every third floor had a graduate resident that oversaw the RAs. And she stepped out onto our hall, and uh, my boys across, across the hall come out, and they go, Damn, somebody's getting baked. <laughs> of course they did. Yeah. And, and, so, and so anyway, I saw her down there, and I knew she heard him say it. So sure enough, we came back up. Campus cop was waiting. With handcuffs. Well. There's no evidence. We told we told, Were, were well, they like flex cuffs? Yeah, no, no real handcuffs. No real handcuffs? We were like, um, he, he, said, uh, he said, okay, what's the deal? Because I walked out, of, out with Lysol because – you know, I used Wait. to go down there and use the toilet. I'd spray it with Lysol before I sat on it. <laughs> and then spray Lysol after. And then they, yeah. Yeah, then they came. Then they came. He's like, where are you going with that? I said, the bathroom. <laughs> and uh, he's like, you're not in here spraying, getting rid of. He said, you've been using, you boys been using marijuana in here? I was like, we had a joint. Yeah. He's like, so you're admitting to the use of narcotics? Yeah. yeah. Narcotics? Marijuana? So it's an illegal drug. Okay. Doesn't make it a narcotic, but go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> story is. Yeah. Maybe he didn't call it narcotics. Is it not a narcotic? The no. devil's lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> the devil's lettuce. Hash. Little hash. <laughs> My roommate used to sell it. I could tell you stories. That and ecstasy. I was a big fan of ecstasy for a year. Yeah, me too. I, I, I tried that for a while. <laughs> me too. Shrooms. Makes you love everything. Oh, yeah. Never done shrooms. Acid. Acid, I, I had a bad trip, and yeah, I, I did quit. Too. I was did like, it one can't time. do it. I did it one time, and I swear to God, I thought I was freaking out. I thought I was dying. Yeah, I like the walls again. were breathing, oh, and I felt like I was covered and, in salt. Yeah, ridiculous. And, and the, somebody bit the earth off behind me. Yeah. Crazy town. Now, I'll tell you a story. guy that used to deal acid where I went to college was trying to run from the cops, and he put a sheet of it in a sock. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good move. If you yeah. know how acid, acid is taken, it's absorbed into your bloodstream. Yeah. It, it, he sweated. Absorbed <laughs> a whole sheet of acid. He thought he was an orange <laughs> for about a week. I can see how these drugs have made people smarter. Uh, well, college used, to be, college used to be fun. Yeah, it oh. used to be now fun. Now you can just tell your professor what grade you want. Could yeah. you imagine us being in college mm -hmm. today telling our professors what grade we wanted? Uh, yeah, teach. Uh, I want an A and I'm not coming. Yeah. See you later. What if the professor just sent out an email that said that but just to see who answered their emails? Well, because how just, many emails do you ignore? A ton of them, but yeah. not if I'm in college. See, and, and co but you were in college the same time I was in college. Yeah. And back then, the emails were just getting big because I went to college in 92. And, and emails weren't a really big thing at the time. 
Mm-hmm. You didn't have cell phones, smartphones. I mean, we didn't, could, I didn't have email. You could hide back things, then. I mean, you know. We had to go and take our mathematics tests on on a computer, but it was just an intranet right. system within. We didn't have any of that stuff. Yeah. All right, that's the world. That's how it's going right now. Thanks for letting us waste your time. Candice, the queen of the Ethiopians. Speaking of five stars, go rate and review. How do you do that? Go on your little app right there. It's easy to do from a computer where podcasts are offered, but good on your little app, your little podcast app right there. If you're on an iPhone or whatever, go to the Chad Prather Show and scroll, 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 scroll down to the bottom. It'll give you a place you can leave a five-star review, and that's the only thing we accept. And um, I've only had one douche that gave us a one-star. And I think it had something to do with Steve pissing off the Catholics. Oh, well. Get your e-rosary. Repent. My lovely wife, Jade. The Puppet Master Mark, Candice, The Matt Lock Show, Party Foul Steve. These boys host Beer for Brunch on Friday afternoons. Check them out. Go to watchchad.com and get you a poke shirt, okay? <laughs> Stop it. I'm going to a spook movie. I love you. God bless. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>